to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed weekend i definitely had a blessed weekend myself today i'll be doing a quick review of a sample of some samples that i got i don't really do a lot of sampling videos i definitely get a lot of samples i order a lot of samples uh, but this house kind of opened my eyes and it's one of the houses now that i'm definitely want to get into more but it's definitely expensive so it's probably gonna be a house that I'm gonna have to save some money to to make all these purchases. Uh, the house I'm talking about is Mel Facini. There's only one person on YouTube that I've heard talk about this, and as my guy, he smells like Rome. Shout out to you, brother. You always on top of it. Mr. Oz is another guy that's always talking about exclusive juices. I'm gonna leave a link to uh, He Smells Like Rome's channel uh, down in the description box. Uh, Mel Facini is a house from Italy, exclusive. It's hard to find samples of it. They don't really do samples on their website. I think Men New York may have samples, I'm not sure, but it's definitely hard to find samples of this. So I was looking online. I picked up a full bottle um, of a fragrance from this line. I was looking online. Men New York didn't have a fragrance that, I, fragrance that I wanted. So just searching, and I found a place called fragrancevault.net. So I went ahead, hit them up, Got to talking to the uh, uh, person, SA or sales rep or the owner or whatever. Her name is Jana. And man, she is really, really, really nice. She sent me like maybe 30 samples. 30 samples alone on my purchase, uh, which was so awesome. And two of the samples she sent me were uh, Mel Ficini and it was Narcotico and it was the 2018 release Little Song. Narcotico is one that I really, really enjoy. It's definitely blended immaculate blended so well uh top of the line ingredients this is not a sophisticated fragrance this one is incense tonka bean benzoin ooh patchouli vanilla and musk and it's a green really beautiful earthy patchouli you get a little bit of ooh but you get a really beautiful incense and what makes this fragrance so beautiful is when it starts to dry down you get the sweetness from that tonka bean, you get some of that benzoin, you get some vanilla, and you get some musk, which really just changes the whole fragrance composition. But you still get some of that patchouli and incense. It just blended so well. I was truly shocked, you know, for a fragrance to have su such a simple uh, note pyramid to smell so great. I was really shocked at that one. Uh, now, take a line, these fragrances are expensive. Little Song is 280 bucks for 100 mil. You're not going to be able to find these on any um, discount or anything like that. You're probably going to have to pay full price for these. So, um, these are going to be fragrances I'm definitely, definitely going to have to save up for. Another line I would like to get into is Kajal, but I'm not going to get out the subject. That's another line I would like to get into, but they're definitely expensive too. Little Song is one that I smell, and I'm not really a gourmand guy. I don't really like coffee and um, all the gourmand type of notes. Um, but this one, the note tree on this one, in which I don't get all of these notes, is bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, Turkish rose, coffee extract, tobacco, vetiver, bourbon, civet, sage, musk, and labdanum. Now, when I first smelled this yesterday, or was it the day before yesterday? day before yesterday as you can see i used a bunch of uh juice out this sample she sent me another sample too i'll talk about in a second that i really like and i ordered a bottle of that last night but let's get back to this i didn't get the bergamot i definitely got the ginger i didn't get much of the rose but the coffee and the tobacco kind of took the front of the fragrance which really made it really nice and once it started to dry down, I did get a little bit of rose. The rose started to peek his head out, but that civet started to come out, which made this a lot more animalic. And then you got the musk and the labdanum. It was just, this was one of the ones when I sm when I put it on, I was like, ooh, coffee. But I kept smelling my arm. As I kept, as the day went on, I kept smelling and smelling and smelling. And these, the performance on these are crazy. It's gonna last, you know, 14 hours you guys want to project five miles is gonna project probably uh two miles no i'm just joking it's gonna project like a mofo so this another one is gonna project well it's got great performance it is a little bit on the pricier side but you're definitely paying for the the blend the ingredients 
and just the quality of the fragrance. So when all those things come together, I really, and the presentation is really nice too. I don't really mind spending a little bit more for a fragrance that I really like. And it, you're not gonna smell like anybody else. That may not be important to a lot of people that watch my channel or, you know, a lot of people don't care about that. I pride myself on not smelling like everybody else. So that's just my thing. You may have your thing, so, you know. I'm going to leave a link to Jenna at fragrancevault.net. I'm going to leave a link to her store or company down in the description box. Hopefully, you guys go by there, check out, see what she's got, maybe purchase some stuff. If not, buy some samples from her because she's got samples of fragrances that you probably won't be able to find anywhere else. So, if you can't like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you woke up today, you definitely win it. If you smelled anything from Mel Ficini, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. If you haven't, uh, let's get a conversation started. And other than that, it's just a quick sampling video. I'm out. Peace.